It is often said that one's makeup person is privy to more personal information than even a spouse or a friend. And it is likely that Bob Schiffer was such a person in Rita Hayworth's life. He was her longtime makeup man and great friend. Bob Schiffer died in 2005, but I was lucky enough to meet him a few years prior when I wrote a documentary about Rita Hayworth and he was a guest. He was such a sweet man. He was so kind to me and had such wonderful things to say about Rita Hayworth, whom he clearly loved. Bob can be seen here with Rita on the set of Down to Earth, which was released in 1947, but he started working with her as early as 1939 on Only Angels Have Wings and then 1940 in Angels Over Broadway. He basically was her main makeup person from that point on until she left Columbia. Here he is um, doing her makeup on the set of Gilda in 1946. That's cinematographer Rudy Maté on the left and director Charles Vidor on the right. Bob Schiffer didn't really like any of Rita's husbands um, because he didn't like the way they treated Rita and also because he was admittedly in love with Rita himself. Um, he did work on The Lady from Shanghai and uh, with Orson Welles and Rita and Orson Welles did not like him at all. Rita doesn't look too happy here, but um, actually it was a great experience for her because she was back together with Orson after a separation. Unfortunately, uh, after filming was over, they separated and broke up for good. After her divorce from Orson Welles, Bob Schiffer was a real friend to her and uh, they often went out uh, dancing and to nightclubs. They were dear friends. He claims they talked about marriage, I tend to believe that that was wishful thinking and um, memories maybe changed over time because it seemed like she always just was a very good friend of his. One thing for sure is that she always had fun with him. Here they are on the set of The Loves of Carmen with uh, Rita's favorite co-star, Glenn Ford. After Rita married Prince Ali Khan in 1949, she left Hollywood and the movies uh, and moved to Europe. She had her baby, Yasmin, with Ali Khan, and then shortly thereafter, they separated, and she came back to Hollywood. And again, Bob Schiffer was a great comfort to her. Here they are dancing uh, in Reno while she's um, staying there in order to get her divorce. Incidentally, I love that she's wearing jeans while she's out dancing. That was her, very natural, loved jeans. When Rita came back to Hollywood to shoot a fair in Trinidad, um, which she had to do to support her family, um, she had changed quite a bit and she had lost a lot of her sparkle, her spunk. Of course, she and Bob were still great friends and he was working with her on Salome and Miss Sadie Thompson, but she didn't want to be making movies anymore and she did it with reluctance. When I met Bob, one of the things he was so happy about was seeing my photos of him with Rita because his collection of photos had burned in a fire. Uh, and one of the things I remember so well that was so touching and said so much about uh, how he felt about her was when I showed him this picture of them on the set of Down to Earth, he literally took his finger and, and went down her profile and said, with quite a bit of emotion. Oh, she was so beautiful, so perfect. <laughs>